Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, please feel free to find us every day of the week, three times a day, live on Facebook, or you can find us at TTTRV at YouTube, and you can find all of my videos at RVs Inside Out on YouTube as well. Uh, my number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Please go ahead, take a look down below if you're looking for information on this available Ventana. This is a brand new 2023 and as usual, I love to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, go ahead and take her on back. Uh, this is a uh, 40 foot model uh, that was released for 2023 and it is a bath and a half with a desk. So exciting. We do have two models in the Ventana lineup with a desk. Uh, the other is a 43 foot coach. And then we also have another 43 foot new floor plan. So hopefully we'll bring that to you soon. Uh, but this is a fantastic model. Uh, one of the nice features about this Ventana is not only is it a bath and a half, but it has a full king size bed and it has a desk. Now you'll notice that here in the rear bathroom, we'll start off here with this 35 inch radius shower. Really, really roomy. It, we also have the optional teak bench and then the standard feature, which is going to be the Aquamizer shower system. So what this does is this actually recycles uh, from your 105 gallon tank back into your tank until the water heats up. After that, you go ahead and switch over this little lever and I'll just show that to you. Let me open this magnetic seal. You'll see that that's really cool. It keeps everything nice and uh, all the steam inside if it's cold. Uh, but you switch it over from recycle to, uh, to shower. And what it will do is it will then start bringing the water from the shower head into your gray tank. So that 75 gallon gray tank won't heat up quite, or I'm sorry, won't fill up quite as quickly. Um, but as I mentioned, this is a really, really nice uh, shower size. And with this overhead skylight, plenty of room for even those who are tall. And of course, you've got your adjustable wand, your little spot here for your, for your shampoo and conditioner, and then your rain shower head as well. So great um, bathroom here in the rear of the coach. Um, go ahead and close that up. Another great feature with this coach is this fantastic amount of storage. So... Uh, I love the fact that you have so much hanging space in this RV so you can keep your longer items in here if you're going to be, you know, maybe wetsuits, ball gowns, whatever it might be that you're needing to take camping with you. Oh, and I'm going to go ahead and turn off my little LED light. Close this bad boy up and move on to the drawers over here. Now, I don't know if you noticed in that last drawer, but you'll see this is a full size drawer. And of course, here's another one. Just kidding. It's got a false front, that way everything lines up. So a little bit more narrow to make room for that sink. But as you can see, these beautiful soft closed drawers are really good at, ma at masking the fact that there are different drawer sizes, giving you that kind of uniform look. Lots of storage here underneath to put in your towels and linens. Great place to store those things. There's a gigantic medicine cabinet. Of course, no rattles, all nice carpet lined. Um, I use this all the time. I've had some clients that say, aren't you worried about things spilling over? Uh, we are not. I keep everything in a tray. Um, and the reason I do that is because if I forget something in my coach and it freezes and it explodes, I don't want it to go all over my medicine cabinet carpet or not. It gets caught in that tray, but it really does keep the rattles down to not have that solid wood surface at the bottom. Of course, that is going to be on any of your higher end Numar products. Um, I love this all glass tile backsplash with just this really classy aluminum trim and then a plenty of room you know for outlets if you need to get your you know hair dryer and flat iron uh, plugged in in the morning and then this optional cabinet here well it's not an optional cabinet this cabinet here has space for an optional washer and dryer or again just tons of storage so depending on your function i'm a big fan of the washer and dryer because uh, it allows us to go camping longer and to pack less things but of you who don't need it that's a lot of extra space uh here's the optional robe hook why do i keep calling things optional that's also a standard feature there are lots of new options uh this year and there's also a lot of new standard features uh, this is a standard feature that i love our egress door 
The magnetic cover has a ladder that deploys and can be retracted. So if you use it once, it's not that you have to go replace it. Uh, but this is a great place to be able to pass things in and out of the coach without letting your fine furry friends know that you're loading up the RV. Um, especially if you've got possessive cats. I've got a few clients who tell me they've got possessive kitties who don't want to go uh, home. They want to stay in their RV. So this is a great place for you to be able to get your coach loaded. Uh, we love this new switch for 2023. Fill up the tank and then empty the tank. It's just nice that there's a very defined uh, knob. And then of course you still have your, oh my gosh, it's almost full. And then, oh shoot, it's full indicators. Another nice feature about these KIB switches is the fact that you can turn them down so that they become uh, completely dark at night if you don't want them on in your bathroom. So that's just a great feature. And then you'll notice we've got ceiling vanity, water pump, backlighting, high, low, and then floor heat. So high, medium, and low floor heat. There are three zones of floor, feet, floor heat in this coach, which is a great optional feature. That is an optional feature. Uh, your fantastic fan, of course, is rain sensing. And a nice little towel bar here. And then we'll go ahead and lead into the main bedroom. So this is such a nice uh, feature uh, to have a 40 foot coach with a full king size bed. So here's your RV king, um, fantastic headboard. I love this inlay in the back of the Gotham. It's really beautiful. Uh, this is a really nice, uh, really nice layout. So when you have um, all of this bright colored wood and all of this nice light uh, interior. If it's a dark, dreary day and the only reason you're inside of your RV is because it's raining out, this coach feels really warm and inviting. And you'll find that over here on top we have, of course, two 110 outlets with grommets. So if you want to charge a computer, maybe run your laptop, you can do that. Um, also, you'll see that you do have controls again underneath here. So you can turn on your security lights or you can operate your uh, interior lights. Uh, there's an all lights off switch, uh, feature there. But more excitingly, this year's model will have a phone app that you can actually sync into. And this coach is equipped with the Everest system uh, for Wi-Fi, so a higher end Wi-Fi system. I have handouts um, on a lot of information. I have chassis handouts for both Spartan and Fre Freightliner. I have uh, the Denali Wi-Fi system and Everest uh, system handout for the Wi-Fi stuff. So if you are in the market and you've got questions, I can email over a lot of literature to you and I'll show you what some of that looks like uh, as soon as we get into the kitchen area of the RV. But that's important to know that there is a lot of support tool uh, available for, um, for the consumer uh, from Numar. They do a great job with that. Now on the left and right side of this, um, of this bed, you'll see if you have a CPAP machine, they're supposed to be at heart level um, or below, but not above just a great place to be able to keep that CPAP machine. And of course there's two 110 outlets and two USB ports there. So you could do that without interfering with your charging capacity. And then I love these little lights that you see down below, just really nice courtesy lights. If you want to have just those on at night so that you can see uh, your way to the restroom. Of course, one of the benefits of this uh, triple slide is that this back bedroom when it's out and then your full wall slide being out here, there's a lot of room around this bed. So this is a very luxurious uh, bed set. I think that you'll find that there's more than enough room uh, for everybody to get in and out of bed comfortably. The other thing I really like that Numar does is the mattress is not right up against the wall. So you can tuck your blankets in, tuck your comforter in very easily. It's not a bunch of work to do so. Uh, now here in our wardrobe, we have of course two hanging wardrobes again. So this is your third um, second and third hanging wardrobe for this coach. So just a ton of storage space. I love the way that they do these nice full extension doors that come all the way out past the cabinets so that you can get into the way back without having to reach underneath. Um, and of course you've got five drawers here. And then you have here on the right, audio video controls uh, are gonna be down here. If you opt for you know running your HDMI cord to like a Sony PlayStation or to a DVD player, you can do that. Uh, but you do have a 4K smart TV here with a Samsung television. And again, this has the Everest system. So if you wanted to just download, you know, whatever you're watching on Netflix or Hulu and watch it on your television, you could do that as well. This coach is actually really well equipped for that feature. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and bring this slide in now. Slide controls for uh, Numar are almost always uh, for the bedroom slide in the bedroom. I do want to show you how much room you have here. 
So we're going to bring these in so that when you uh, see the coach on the outside, you can see the full exterior Gotham paint. Uh, this coach does have the two optional Nova awnings on it, so they are the full length of the coach. But this is one of our newer paint jobs, and it is just absolutely stunning. I think you'll be really impressed. Okay, so this is with one slide in on the bedroom. So if you're loading up and you're parked and you, can only, and you only can open up one slide, you still have plenty of room to get in and out while you're kind of packing. Sometimes when we're getting ready, we can only afford to put one slide out because we have, of course, the street. We want to have the slides in on the street side, but we'll go ahead and park so that we can put out our full wall slide on the grass side so we can get loaded. Now, hold on, folks. Look at this. This is fantastic. I absolutely love this new feature. So this is what you, makes the 4068 unique in its segment. Not only do you have a king size bed, a bath and a half, you also have all of this great additional storage. And you don't have to use it for office space. Like you could keep glasses in there, plateware. I mean, these are huge cabinets and they're so nicely um, allocated. But then on top of it, you have literally a full desk setup. I mean, this is so fantastic. Uh, I love this feature. Um, there is a there is a shade here. So for those of you who are like, oh, what if you want to keep it all dark? No problem. Day and night shades all the way through by MCD. But man, talk about a cool, cool, you know, feature to have a desk in here that you could keep your computer monitor set up. You've got um, everything that you need can go underneath here from a from a chair perspective so you can tuck this all the way in so that while you're going down the road it's completely out of the way just love this new feature um, and so if one of you likes to wake up early in the morning you can always close off that rear bedroom um, I love the extra detail and just the level of quality and uh, attention brought to the cabinetry again by Numar uh, this brings us though to one of the most exciting features of this coach so all of our Ventanas um, in the 2023 model year will have this 10 inch screen. I was telling Jody earlier when we're setting up, it makes it so simple. I can turn on my kitchen, my bathroom, my bedroom, all of my lights can all go on. Even my mid bath has its own set of lighting controls. So now that we're done with the bedroom, I can go ahead and I can just turn off all of these lights so easily. It's just so fantastic. Um, really, really love this ability to just have this very easy to use touch screen. Um, now you'll see Bluetooth pair. We talked about having that connectivity and that app available through Numar this year. Really nice feature. We've been doing it with Renegade for a long time. Great to have that as part of it. Now look at this. So nice that you can see all of your HVAC controls right here. You've got your setup. So if you want to set your, uh, you know, um, your day settings and night settings, all of those things. Your floor heat is all in one, uh, one consolidated area. We are running our generator right now. Um, I can have it set for quiet time. I can set it so that it turns on and off at different levels, uh, whether it be temperature related or times. And then here I've got kind of a breakdown of everything that's going on in my coach and really easy. I can go ahead, I've got the optional tank heat. I can turn that on here, operate my water pump. I can turn my autofill on if I'm plugged into city water. So, I mean, just really, really nice consolidated uh, location for all of your information in your coach, right in the middle of the coach. Uh, below that, of course, you'll see that we do have our central vac. That's your hose connection as well as your kick plate. Now, these kick plates are highly underrated. As you can see, I was sweeping stuff in there earlier today. Just so nice to be able to clean up so easily. And then in this mid bath, we have so much storage really incredible amount of space to keep all of your linens, to keep all of your towels, to keep all of your supplies, whether it be medicines or, you know, band-aids, um, you know, extra hair care stuff. If you were looking to be uh, full-time in this coach, this coach would give you the room that you would need to be very, very comfortable. So I love that aspect of this RV. Um, the other thing that's really nice about this is now that you've been in and to see all of the storage space, one of the most important spaces, of course, is going to be when you're using the facilities, how much room do you have? And the truth of the matter is you have a lot of knee space. So nice, again, solid porcelain toilet, the new flush features in here as well, but really, really great amount of space in this mid bath. 
And then of course we have all of the brains of the operation. We've got our little breaker box here. So nicely labeled. Um, I love the fact that they use a label maker and everything is uh, printed and stuck on so that it's easy and legible uh, to read. As you can see with these bundles, Newmar just does a fantastic job at coach quality. Uh, so really, really impressive product. Another fantastic fan above us, of course. Another window that opens. I mean, you just really have it all here in this 4068. Now, one of the things I think that's really uh, interesting about this RV, I'm gonna close that pivoting door. We'll come back to that so you can see how easy it is to get in the bathroom while the coach is in motion as well. But so you have, look at all this, this kitchen space. So there's a ton of room here. Of course, we always have our cutting boards on the back side of our stove covers. Um, this induction cooktop, of course, is a very nice uh, safety feature in that you can put a paper towel down on top of here and by that magnetic connection, you can boil water in about a third of the time as you would with a regular conventional burner. But more importantly, it wouldn't catch on fire. So very much a safety feature. This is not like a, uh, a lot of people I think think of this as a coil stove or they're concerned that it's like a ceramic stove. That's not the case with this. This is an induction cooktop and it's removable. So when you have your nice induction pans, you don't want to take them outside and put them over fire. You could actually just use them and take your whole entire cooktop outside. That way, if you had anything like bacon or fish, anything that's going to be kind of smelly, you wouldn't have to cook it inside of this coach. Now, that being said, there is a 22 gallon propane tank option on this coach, but this is the all electric coach. The all electric coach has a lot of nice creature features. It comes standard with a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. It doubles your battery capacity, giving you eight AGM batteries instead of four. Uh, it gives you a hydronic heating system. So you're using an Oasis dual loop Chinook system for hydronic heat, as well as your tankless hot water supply. Um, and that hydronic heat, coupled with the fact that you've got three zone heated floors and heat pumps gives you a capacity where you can really manage the temperature of your coach without having to um, listen to the sounds of the heat pumps. It's really nice to be able to use either your heated floors in a more mellow situation, or if it was really cold, you could turn on those heat pumps and it just, it's pushing air over this tube of hot liquid that the tankless hot water heater is heating. It's keeping your bays warm. Uh, it, there's actually a thermostat down there and you can keep your coach at a really nice temperature without hearing all those fans overhead. Um, all of that being said, as much as you have all of this fantastic uh, storage, like when I say fantastic, like how cute is that little drawer? I don't know what you put in there. Spices maybe? I don't know. Oh, scrubby drawer. Love that. Look at all the storage underneath. Oh my gosh, this is so luxurious. So much room. I'm really excited about this new 4068 floor plan. Uh, there's the other sink cover. Of course, we do have a dual basin stainless steel sink uh, with a residential faucet. Um, and then we also have the optional dishwasher here, which is so nice, full of winterizer. Gotta love that. Yes, we would be happy to uh, de-winterize your coach for you if you decided to purchase one from us. Um, and so here are your little bonus drawers on your pop-out island, which I love. But before I put this away, as I mentioned, handouts. So this coach is equipped with the Everest system, which is an upgraded system. As you can see, it's going to give you um, just a little bit better connectivity, a little bit better bandwidth um, than the Denali, but you can opt for either one of these. And if you're interested in this information, I can email it to you. The other nice feature here, you'll see uh, we have a lot of upgrades on the 2023. This is a four page document of different features. Um, all of this information is super simple for me to attach, drop and send to you when you're in the market for an RV. Uh, because I think it's really nice to know, you know what you're getting and what's out there to make sure you're making the right decision for your family. This is a big investment. Uh, but now that, oh, did I do this one yet? I didn't. More cabinet space. There's your spice rack. Of course, you've got this gigantic convection and microwave oven. These are hard to get, by the way. Mine's been on back order for like three months. I've got a new house going in and I can't get a microwave oven. Um, but that's a great one, to be honest with you. I love that in my, uh, in my Superstar. This is incredible, though. So this is one of the big bonuses for the 4068 floor plan. Instapot, rice cooker, coffee pot, like all the things that don't have a place in my RV could fit in this cabinet. 
and it's like, oh shoot, well then I'm losing my pantry. No, you still have your whole pantry with your full six, uh, full extension drawers. I mean, this coach is so stinking cool. If you haven't considered a 4068, highly encourage it. Again, this is a 19.7 cubic foot refrigerator. I love the meat and cheese drawer. We use ours all the time. There's a water filter there for your water distribution. And this coach also has a whole house water filter. So dual filtration, huge uh, deep freeze, or huge freezer. Uh, we do have this coach pre-wired for the exterior for uh, Dometic. We do not have it installed. So for those of you that would like that Dometic, this coach is pre-wired for you. So that would be a very easy install for us. Um, here you'll see we have optional recliners. So this is so cool. This is so much space. Normally they're kind of tucked in to this little area, but because of the width of this couch area, this could be a trifold queen size sofa, or it can be uh, theater seats, or in this case recliners. You're able to have three stationary places to put things down. This is such a luxury. What a nice coach. And then you'll notice that behind you, you've got 110 outlets, 110 outlets and USB ports. They're up on either side of the window as well. Cross ventilation the whole way through. Beautiful wall sconces. Cup holders here on top. Storage down here below. Look at all that storage. How many DVDs could you get from Walmart to fit in that bad boy? Man, you could watch all the bad D-rated horror comics or horror movies ever. And then over here, I love this great little place to keep your novel, keep your, you know, your remotes, keep your favorite coffee cup, whatever it might be. So that while you're going down the road, you always know where everything is. But I just love this great uh, recliner option in this coach. And then you still have all of this overhead storage for like board games. This is a great place you could get those shoe boxes, just label them from A to Z with, you know, flashlights, batteries, outdoor cooking utensils, whatever it might be that you need to put away. Of course, a little monopoly in case you want to start a family feud. We all know that that happens, right? No one ever has fun playing monopoly. Let's be real, unless they win. And then everybody who loses is just so angry. Um, I love monopoly. My daughter always wins. She's 14 right now. She's just insanely good at monopoly. I told her she should be a real estate mogul, buy me a mansion. Uh, take a look at all this extra space. I know I keep opening cabinets, but this is just the way it is. We have so much room in this coach. Again, HDMI cords pre-wired. Bring your own supplies, bring your PlayStation 3, whatever it is that you might want. But tons and tons of space here. And then of course, this is the booth. Uh, this does convert into a bed. You saw that cushion in the back. And then it also has great storage underneath. Now I would use that storage personally for, a, uh, for all of my electronic devices. Now I'm lowering our 4K smart TV. So you can see that big window there. You can see one of those two optional Nova awnings outside there. So just great, great location. Uh, for your dining room table, keep an eye on the kiddos, have breakfast, really just enjoy yourself. Such a nice setup. Again, this is the 4068 floor plan. Now let's talk about some of the other features that are kind of exciting about this. So of course you've got ducted air conditioning. So you've got these beautiful decorative uh, covers for all of your returns. Looks so classy. Uh, there are two 15,000 BTU air conditioning and heat pump units on top of this RV along with again that optional heated floor, the hydronic heat. But a new feature for this year is we have mobilized standard on uh, both the Freightliner and optional Spartan chassis. And what that means is not only do you have a lane tracking package, but there's a haptic feedback in that seat. So you've got your uh, six way power adjustable seat. It's a recliner. You've got you know the, the optional heat, which is important. Um, but more importantly, if you start to drift or go out of the lanes, it's actually going to vibrate. So as you can imagine, in turning both of these seats around, you've got four recliners, a big television, lots of room for entertaining, um, just a great overall layout for a very, very compact coach that has a lot of great park access. Now the actual length of this coach is 40, I'm sorry, 40 feet, 10 inches. So 
you can call it a 40, you could say it's 41, but it's 40 foot coach. So if you've got park restrictions, uh, like we do here at our state parks in Colorado where you can be up to 40 feet, this coach makes the grade, which is super cool. Okay, so can you hear it? I'm running my generator. So one of the huge benefits of going from a 37 or 34 foot Ventana into a 40 foot Ventana is we're now going to be at the 8.9 liter ISL. So we've got 1,250 foot pounds of torque pushing us down the road. So that is a rear engine mounted, and uh, I'm sorry, rear engine mount, which is so nice because what that does is it allows us to have room under here for eight kilowatt generator. So I'm running my generator right now. I can turn that on here. You also saw this control in the center. I could use that. There's also a control outside, but I can turn that down. But as you can see throughout our video, you never really heard the generator in the back because it's all the way up front here. The other thing that's really nice about getting into that 40 foot segment is you've got a second axle. So you've got a tag axle, not only giving you an easier time parking, uh, but also giving you more stability going down the road, uh, more buoyancy over those bumps, and also increasing your uh, towing capacity from 15, or sorry, from 10,000 pounds to 15,000 pounds. And then your trailer weight goes from 5,000 pounds to 15,000 pounds. So that tag axle makes a huge difference in the buoyancy of this coach in the rear where that engine is. And again, you go from that 6.7 liter ISB with 800 foot pounds of torque to an 8.9 liter ISL. Both of them are Cummins engines. This is our Freightliner chassis. This is a standard chassis for this model. It comes chock full of all sorts of great things like V-Ride, which keeps you from being so tippy by uh, basically the way they set up the, um, the coach so that the, the supports further out towards the wheels instead of towards the center, giving you more of a stable foundation going down the road. Comfort drive is standard on all of our diesel pushers. So the comfort drive is gonna help you not only go down the road straight, but when you're backing into a parking spot, it'll help you keep your wheels straight. So, so many great features there. Um, and then brake sync is another great feature that you're gonna have on the Freightliner chassis. So what that does is it's running an airline. So if you are towing something heavy like a boat or a stacker, or even your wife's Jeep with all of her stuff in it. I mean, we know how much stuff us ladies can take camping. You, when you go to stop your coach, if your airlines are, if your brakes are out, you still have a charged airline to stop your tow vehicle behind you. So really cool. It's called brake sync and it's already pre-wired. It just takes a few little cords to be able to set the blue ox system. You don't need to get anything uh, overtly involved. Um, and it also has a tire pressure monitoring system new for 2023. Uh, this coach has the optional 360 degree camera. And I do want to show you that. Let me go ahead and start her up. I can operate the camera with or without the engine on, but I want to go ahead and show you that. I want to show you this beautiful glass dash. So this is new this year. Um, really, really beautiful. Super, super easy to read. Lots of information. As you can see, your speed is right here in the front. Here's your lane tracking package telling you if you're going out of the lines. Here's your depth. Here's your fuel. Here's your uh, PSI, everything, all your RPMs. We've got our uh, engine brake on high right now. This has got a dual stage engine brake. Um, I'm sorry, uh, sorry, three stage engine brake, which you can see right here on our stock, low, medium, and high right here or off. So if I turn it off, it would look like that. And you'd see that that little sign goes away. And then you turn it on, you can see it just shows you where your engine brake is. That is so handy. I can't tell you how many times I've wondered like which, which setting I've got my brake set to. So nice to have it up there on the display. Stock control for your Allison transmission. Uh, same old transmission, just no six buttons. All of your shifting is still available within this stock. Uh, just a really nice compact layout. And then here's all your wiper control. And you also have an automatically adjusted uh, silver, um, silver star lighting system is new for 2023. So just a, t a ton of new features. Um, but I love, like I said, this overhead camera. I love the nav and go that you can actually use your navigation, um, have everything up on your screen and still have your camera tracking behind you so you know where you are. Um, just really, really nice features. And then down below here in traditional Numar fashion, lots of great storage for your cell phone, your wallet, whatever things you might want to keep up front. Um, here's your climate control. Oh, I had it on high earlier. It was a little bit chilly this morning. It's really nice now. Uh, generator start fans. Uh, these are the little fans that used to hang down and like, you know, hang down from the dash in the front. They're still there. They're just, they're not uh, as visible these days. 
visor control. And then here we've got our headlight control, uh, house and chassis battery boost, left and right uh, power mirror controls, heated mirrors. Uh, you can go ahead and dump your tag if you need to. Uh, this coach has operated by the equalizer leveling system, so you've got your four point, four, four point leveling system as well. Really great, uh, easy to use. Like I said, this is a really, really, really nice execution of, um, of an RV. I was gonna pick up my coffee and have a sip, but I think I'll wait till after the video. Um, Jody, if you wanna show over here on this side, right below all of these KIB switches, again, coax uh, plug in here, nine volt, two USB ports, one tens, and then I'm charging my phone here, which is great because my phone was really low earlier today. I also have my step cover control. So of course, if you want to put Fifi underneath so she doesn't get, no, I'm just kidding. You don't put your dog underneath the step cover and then close the door. That's naughty. But you can really see it. It's, first of all, got plenty of weight support to it. But if you did have a fine furry friend that you wanted to keep from being injured while going down the road, that would super help for sure. Um, cup holder, of course. And then just in case you do have people sleeping in the front cab, you've got all of your covers throughout the RV, including the front. Um, right up here is just a nice little place for some extra storage. And in this coach, we opted not to have the front uh, television, but you could put a TV up here if you're a real big sports fanatic. I've got a guy that I'm working with right now who uh, watches NASCAR and they leave the track a little early because they don't want to miss uh, their opportunity to get out of the parking lot. And they're already all the way in, but they want to catch that last race. So they'll have that on there. Uh, so this coach has the four optional uh, solar panels on it, so 440 watts of solar. Um, here's your little magnum uh, control sy system here, just showing you what you have going on your, with your inverter, uh, your slide control. Again, your Oasis system is a great hydronic system. This is a marine grade system. It can be run on AC1, AC2, or you could turn your burner on. Right now the burner's on, that's what we would be using this morning for operating the heat so that we don't have to have our generator running. Uh, power control system is super simple to read, but keep in mind all of this stuff can be read at that back, uh, that back system. Security lights, this is for your Gerard awnings. This is the awning that goes over your, uh, over your steps. And I am going to go ahead and bring in our slides. So take a look at the size of the slide. This is a full wall slide. So this is a three slide coach, but keep in mind you're really getting the effect of four slides with this RV because of the length of this coat of this uh, slide. It's a really awesome feature. Really increases the amount of living space you have in your RV. And I mean, just having had this last year with my uh, Superstar, which is kind of like the Super C version of a Ventana, um, I can't tell you how pleased we are with the amount of um, just fun we've been able to have in it with friends coming over. Always plenty of room. I love our automatic slide locks. You don't need to put a, you know, a slide lock in place. And then um, again, this 4068 has this all new um, setup where you've got you know, your desk and all of that, but you could actually be working at your desk and driving down the road at the same time. It's just amazing what you've been able to do with this coach. So I'll show you how that looks. There we are, we're all the way in. Now these chairs can be pushed back a little bit further, but they're pretty pretty good spot right now. Um, one of the nice features though of this new 48, 4068 floor plan is that you could literally sit here and do your office work going down the road. So if you have to work during the day, you've got a conference call you need to tune into, you're fully set up and operational in this coach. So we love that feature and as I mentioned earlier, full access to the bathroom as well. So you can get in and out of the, of the mid bath uh, just as easily as you could when the doors are open because of the way that this little pocket door pivots. Just a great, great amount of uh, flexibility. For those of you who have a bum knee or bum leg, this coach uh, with the recliners is a little bit less easy to walk through, um, but there are different options. You could do the couch if you wanted to. Um, you could also do the theater seats. I really like those recliners because you can pull them out against the wall and they're kind of nice there. Let's go ahead and turn off this engine. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hop out now. Before we go though, Jody, I do wanna show underneath these stairs. So for those of you that do travel with pets, great place for dog or kitty food. 
also for leashes and pet bowls. Just really nice additional storage. And if you don't, I mean, I'm sure you can find plenty of other things to keep in that compartment. Now you'll see here's our house battery disconnect. And then this other button here is for lock and unlock of your under storage base. So all of your basement doors, when you see this little chrome handle, are power locks. And what's nice about these power locks is that you can unlock and lock all of your basement doors. And then when you put the coach into drive, they're actually going to engage for you automatically. So love that feature. You just come up here, hit the power button or the lock button, get into whatever bay it is that has the barbecue or the lawn chairs without having to fish around or, hey, honey, who's got the keys? You know, that kind of stuff. All right, so we got the ding dong, right? We got our doorbell, got our number pad so that we can lock our bays and our doors all by just pushing down this little one button and holding it, take off, leave our keys inside, come back in, punch in our code, and then get back into the coach, but we don't have to bring our keys with us, which is super, super nice. I love this screen door, all the fresh air, and none of the flies or mosquitoes. I really don't like mosquitoes, so big deal here. Look at this Gotham paint. What a pretty color. Is this like a, like a Prosecco color silver? It's just such a gorgeous color. Uh, of course, when we get into the Ventana, we get these higher end chrome convex mirrors. Uh, this is gonna be your camera for when you put your right hand turn signal on. And then here are our new headlights as well. So love that feature. Um, so again, a lot of new features for uh, the Ventana this year, but that mobile eye feature with lane tracking is one of the most important ones to mention. And then up here is one of our 360 OmniView cameras. That's gonna be what gives you that 360 view. Of course, not only good for parking, but also just for security in general. Uh, this is gonna be a dual fill 100 gallon tank. So here's one side. I know we talk about this a lot, but our Alcoa rims are gonna give us less reverberation, more quiet going down the road. So that's a great feature. Of course, this is gonna be really reinforced with that second axle. So having a tag axle also makes a huge difference. As you can see, we do have this pre-wired. This is where you could put your Dometic on a, on a slide tray. And then on the left there, you see all of the attachments for not only your, um, your vacuum cleaner, but also for your airline. Uh, and again, this does have uh, the ability to air up all of your tires. Uh, so if you've got a low tire, you can do that with your coach. Oh, one of the features uh, we should mention, the dorage, uh, or the dorage bays, <laughs> the basement doors have new seals on them. They seal just as well as they always have. They're just a lot easier to close. Uh, we do have the two 1,000 pound rated optional slide trays here. Um, as you can see, there are the full width across the coach, but when you look underneath here, you'll see our star foundation. Our star foundation raises the coach up off of the chassis rail, and what it does is it creates a, a place that's supporting all of your heaviest weight, which is coming from your slides, and brings it down towards the center of the coach. So that coupled with V-Ride is gonna give you a really nice, stable feel going down the road, even through those mountainous turns. These coaches just drive like butter. I cannot speak highly enough. But the other thing it does is this is all assembled first. So your, all of your uh, under basement features are brought in, uh, under coating is applied to help against rust perforation, all of those things. And then they build the floor for this coach. So your heated floor is assembled off of the floor of the coach. And it's all of that tile is laid, that porcelain tile is laid, your heat coils, everything that you need for your heated floor. And then they pick up that floor and they have, it's called Big Bertha, and they take it, they put it down on top of the pre-existing foundation for this coach, giving you less tile pa uh, cracking, I'm sorry, tile popping, floor cracking, um, just giving you a much more stable surface, much more longevity. Uh, so the Numar floors, you'll go through lots of Numars that are five, six, seven years old, and they just look fantastic. And it's because of the way that we assemble our coaches, but more importantly, they give you a three inch subfloor, which is going to make it quieter going down the road, but it's also going to insulate you against that hot asphalt during the summer or against those really cold nights. And again, this does have the optional heat pads for your water tanks and the optional uh, all electric package, which is going to keep your bays heated by not only um, those heat pads, but also by thermostat running that hydronic heat underneath, making sure that your bays are warm enough. Now, the reason I'm pausing here is I just wanna make sure I show you, this is where your inner vac system is going to be located. So this is where you could plug your hoses in from the outside. So if you wanna vacuum clean your dog, you can do that. 
And then I also wanted to show how far out these slides go. So these are really big, very easy to operate slides. And as you can see, they just slide in and out so easily. Um, the long slides come out 60%. That way they are actually out past your, uh, past your slide when it's extended, which is so, so nice. Uh, now here you'll see we have the exterior optional 43 inch Samsung television. Uh, there are a few sound bars uh, located throughout this coach. These are just really nice Bose sound bars, Samsung equipment. I mean, everything in this Numar is really top of the line, uh, all the way down to your electronics. Um, and then here you've got your Nova awning controls. So for some reason your awning uh, battery was dead. You couldn't operate your awning uh, from, from the remote. You could do it here on the outside as well. And then you've got your tank heat pads right here plugged in and then you've also got two 110 outlets so if you want to have your margarita party not only do you have a great place to plug in the, the blender you also have a great little place to set up all of your glasses your little serving station next door or you could use this as a tool shed I really think it looks like an outdoor bar personally but that's just me um, okay so I know we've been talking about this um, so this tag axle is really uh, unique. So you'll see anytime you have an any, so this wheel goes in, right? That's gonna be tracking forward. So the tag axle, which pivots, there's actually uh, a little, um, little pole that comes and it actually releases at any time below 20 miles an hour and allows that rear wheel to, to turn. It gives you much better turning capacity because you're turning from these inside wheels instead of these rear wheels. Uh, but again, that buoyancy. So whenever you have a wheel that can pivot, you're gonna have that Audi. So you've got an Innie and an Audi. That Audi indicates that it turns. That's your tag axle there. Here's your bedroom slide, that egress door. Again, it's just super simple to load things up. Here you've got your uh, chassis batteries and your chassis control on and off. And then on the left there, you can see the Oasis container. Um, so that Oasis fluid has to be at level. If you mention that you've watched this video and you buy this Ventana from me, I will give you a free gallon of Oasis juice. Highly recommend that. It's really important to have. Um, it's one of the things you can't really get from Amazon in the middle of the forest. Uh, again, Freightliner chassis, 4,000 horsepower, Cummins engine, 1,250 foot-pounds of torque. Down below, of course, we've got our seven-pin connector. And then here's that uh, brake sink I mentioned. So here's that airline. Everything's already set up for you. Super simple, plug and go. Uh, again, 15,000 pound hitch. Uh, so towing capacity and trailer rating. Here is your rear view camera and then there's your mobile camera. So, oh sorry, this is gonna be the overhead. That's the rear camera. And that camera has some nice settings. It actually can show you uh, your trailer. Um, so when you're loading in your trailer and you wanna make sure you're lined up, you can actually set that camera to give you a, a, a more downward angle as opposed to more of that panoramic view. So very, very handy here. Um, I love, you know, all of the LED lights that are integrated. And of course, what a beautiful, uh, you know, fiberglass rear end tail cap. This is just a gorgeous execution. Of course, um, I don't know if we talk about it enough. This is a full paint finish. I, I, I know we're so spoiled, I can't even think stickers. So full paint finish. Great place to keep, I would here. Um, we've got these great little collapsible ones that we love. Um, but like I said, these doors are so much easier to open and close. And then just having lights in all of these bays. You know, like I said, Numar does everything really first class. There's not anything that's, that's not really well done. Uh, this is a 13 gallon def tank starting at 40 feet. You get uh, from 10 to 13 gallons. So a little more def capacity. Not such a big deal for us. I feel like every time we stop, we always go to a truck stop because it's just easier and we just fill up our def, you know, at those stops. Here we have a great place for your gravity hose and maybe a set of gloves. And then as mentioned earlier, whole house water filter right here. And then a power water supply. So this is on a power reel, just push the button retracts for you. Of course, a little place for you to be able to run that through so you don't have to keep it, uh, keep your bay door open. Also, very importantly, the outdoor shower with both hot and cold water. Um, very, very nice uh, feature of this coach. 
you know, the kids when they get back from the from the uh, creek, you know, if they're kind of covered in mud and grossness, rinse them off before you put them inside the shower. Great place to be able to do that. A uh, 50 foot power cord on a power reel. Again, this has the optional surge protector as well. And then here on our next bay, as mentioned, this is an optional feature, but this is an all electric coach, which comes with hydronic heat and is powered by your Oasis dual loop Chinook system. That dual loop system was introduced in 2022, and it's just given us better zone control, the ability to get the coach a little bit hotter uh, in all the ways that we like it to be. Um, just having that separate second loop uh, seems to have been a really good improvement. And as, and as mentioned, 60% um, when you bring these out so that they are able to come out all the way through. So if it's time to get going and you want to leave that, you know, slide extended, you can still load up your coach before you hit the road. And that goes both ways. So I know we talked about it on the inside, but you get double the battery capacity here. So 800 amp hours of battery storage. Even in the Dutch Star, when you get the optional lithium ion battery pack, you only get 640 amp hours of storage. So this has got 800 amp hours of storage here. That coupled with your, uh, with your solar on top really makes this coach ready to rock and roll. Um, these are easy to replace. It's just a little pin, you pull that out. They're on a tray, so if you'd like to uh, do your own work on your coach, Newmar makes everything pretty simple. And there's lots of owner's forums that talk about how easy these are, RVs are to work on. Here's the other uh, access point to your 100 gallon fuel tank. And then up here, you'll see that we have, again, just a very nice display of how organized and tidy everything is with Numar. And I love these Ventanas because I can actually just pull that. I don't have to have, they have like, when they get bigger and more fancy, they have like power buttons. I actually prefer just the good old fashioned release right there so that I can show you inside. Uh oh. Just so you know, that door would have never stayed closed in the older uh, introductions of this coach. So here on the right hand side, huge air horns, again that hot water spigot, and then also your air line so you can air up your tires. And then as mentioned, that beautiful eight kilowatt quiet diesel generator underneath the front of the coach, making this all that much better for boondocking. Um, I don't know, I have one and I'm interested. If you are, please reach out, let me know. 303-562-8659 is my direct Again, my name is Katie O'Neill, and we are finally getting caught up on our supply issues. Uh, we have a lot of really cool coaches coming in. Today we've looked at stock number 5N220613. Uh, this coach is available. She's ready to rock and roll. She came in just flawless. Uh, take her home. Let us know how we can get you on the road camping. Thank you so much for spending your Monday with me. See you next week.